looking to improve their roster, the Raiders entered the 2021 season with many new faces. A name that kept coming up, the unheralded cornerback out of Illinois. I got a call from one of our cross-check scouts after the Illinois Pro Day. And he said, Mike, do me a favor and put your eyes on Nate Hobbs. He just ran 4.45, he jumped 41 inches, he tested better than we thought he was gonna test. And I'm not sure if we got the right grade on him. I got off the phone and literally put his tape on right there. And I was like, man. So I run downstairs, say, Milo, get your eye on this guy, please. Okay, and tell me what you think today. He comes running back up in about an hour and a half. We got something. My senior year, I had like two injuries and the COVID year was short anyway. We only played about six games. I was talking to my mother one day. She was like, I think you ready for the draft. It just clicked in my head. I was like, all right, all right, I'm gonna bet on myself. With the 167th pick, in the 2021 NFL Draft, the Las Vegas Raiders select Nate Hobbs, defensive back, Illinois. The first team I ever heard about was the Raiders. Like when I got drafted, I was looking through pictures and then I came across this picture. I was like three, four years old. It's like my favorite picture of me and my mother. She was kissing me on the cheek and I had on a Raiders jersey, 81 Raiders jersey, it was crazy. Where I'm from, people don't make it to the NFL. It feels unbelievable. I can just tell the tradition that's in here is going to be injected into my veins once I get on that field. So I'm just ready to get started. Already in his first year in the NFL, Hobbs made his presence felt immediately, consistently rating amongst the top 15 rookies in the NFL. I love Nate, he's super competitive. And one thing I've loved about him is um, his confidence. And he's gonna be, I think, a really good player in this league. Hopefully a great one. Growing up in the inner city of Louisville, Kentucky, Nate faced major adversity at the young age of 12. I woke up and my sister was yelling. She was like, wake up, wake up, he's not waking up in there. I'm like, who? She was like, daddy, so I ran downstairs and we was trying to give him CPR and stuff like that, but it wasn't working. He was just, you know, he was laying there, he was passed away. That was definitely one of the hardest things in my younger life. I know I represent my family, I know I represent the Raiders in anything I do. So I just try to represent him in a way that people know when they see me, they see him. He was a real good person, selfless, and I try to be selfless like that and I try to do anything for my teammates in the way he would provide and grind because he worked like two, three jobs to support my family because we never had a lot of money growing up. It was six of us under one roof. We were living off 25,000 a year. It just drives me, honestly. It fuels my fire. Everything's meant to be. So I just try to make him proud, you know, for this guy. I love you, Uncle. I love you, Daddy. Resiliency became Nate's only option. Now without his father, Nate looked to his mother to guide him. My mama, she mean the world to me. Like She's the most resilient person I know. That's why I feel like I'm such a resilient person. I've seen her do so much and go through so much and still keep a smile on her face. All the while, just always being supportive and trying to help me. So I owe her everything. She's the greatest woman I ever met, honestly. They don't know where I'm from. They don't know what I did to get her. But I bet you I'm a song for my mama. My expectations for me is to be a player that the Raiders can rely on, they can trust, and they know if I'm on that field that they're going to get everything out of me and somebody who's going to do what they're supposed to do and make plays that, that come to them. So whether that's on special teams, defense, I think I just want to be a, a, a player the Raiders can rely on. This is a once a lifetime opportunity. I can't take it for granted. So every day I wake up, I just give him my all. Honestly, you gotta come with the mindset. I'm gonna compete no matter what, because it's competition out there. We're playing with the best of the best. Hobbs is a guy that is playing fast. I mean, it's almost from day one that he stepped in. So very pleased with his progress.
When you have a nickel that can tackle, that can cover, he looks like a savvy vet out there. So he's off to a really good start. They have the baller, man. He's showing up everywhere, destroying people. You see that passion for playing football. So other silver and black, it's crazy to me. It's a crazy feeling. I love it. I actually like black, too. That's one of my favorite colors. I think I'm addicted to it. It's not making it any better than I'm a Raider. The fans have started to embrace me, too, and it's nothing better, honestly. I'm, I love it here. I'm happy to be here. I love the team that we're building. And it just means a lot that I could be a part of this culture. I'm just grateful to be here, man. Just win, baby. That's all you want to go out there and do is just win. Raiders, just win, baby.